Hey guys out there on YouTube land, it's your VHS collector Kyle here with a DVD slash VHS slash other little thing called uh, Figured I'd uh, do this one, this is the first video I'm doing, or at least uh, of my, you know, videos uh, I had an update video I just posted uh, on Wednesday, so if you've watched that, you'll see pretty much that Whatever I've talked about that I'm gonna try to start doing, start working on. I hadn't really been filming, just like I said in my last video and all. Uh, so let's go ahead and get. Uh, oh, uh, before I get to this, I do want to say, hey, I've made it to 100 subscribers. I understand that's not really all that great. Uh, I'd be more uh, of a I don't know, a milestone, you know, whatever you want to call it. Uh, if I would have made it up to at least maybe about 500 subscribers, but I've made it up to 100, so uh, thank you for all the people who have watched me, who have subscribed to me, who uh, enjoy my videos. Uh, thank y'all very much. Uh, hopefully I can um, maybe uh, get some more subscribers and more views hopefully on my videos uh, so let's go ahead and get right down to my my haul and everything I'm gonna go ahead and do the VHS since I haven't talked about these and I've had them for a while um, I don't know if anybody has ever seen this anime it's called Perfect Blue you know uh, haven't ever actually watched it I need to watch it you know uh, happened to just find it one day uh, while I was at work that is my old work not my newest work you know but I need to watch it and uh, also uh, t tell me in the comments below if y'all if y'all have seen this or have heard about it or have read the, even the manga to let me know if it's a pretty good you know so this is called now and then here and there Conflict and Chaos, and I'm not for sure if this is a ongoing series, or if it's a movie, a special, or what, I never have uh, seen it, never have watched it myself, so this is one of the ones I've, I've never actually watched, and uh, so I'll try to watch this myself. Uh, this one is kind of funny. Um, when I first found this, the castle of kind of Garly Christo, it's, uh, oh crap, I can't think of the actual name of, uh, uh, uh Lupin, Lupin the Third is, is this movie and everything, or pretty much that's, I only had the box, I only had the cover to it. And one day while I was uh, uh, <clears throat> at some uh, convention, or no, I think it was at a store, some VHS store, I found it, but what was weird is that it was only the cassette. It had a cover, but it wasn't this cover. It was like just a regular box on it and everything. So what was cool is I actually got to find it and actually get to... Now I actually have it, so now I can add it to my unit. And I have watched the the show, but I've never watched this. So. And if I have seen this, I just don't know. I mean, because I've watched so much of Loop on the Third. Okay, now let's go on to my DVDs. All right, this one I've already watched. I already had opened it up. It's okay, it's called A Mermaid's Tale. Um, they use a lot of green screen in some of the shots, you know. I mean, it's still a cute little movie. Um, I like the other one that there was another movie, I think. I think it was called the same thing. I thought it was made still. Maybe it's called something else. But uh, it's all right. It's not all that great. Meaning, I've, I've already watched it. Really, so. <clears throat> 
Alright, this next thing is Carol Plus Two, the original Queens of Comedy. Uh, these are specials, TV specials that uh, Carol hosted with Lucille Ball and Zero Monstro. And there's also a TV movie called Once Upon a Mattress. And then uh, Carol Burnett on the origins of the chair one. It was also a television special. I haven't opened it up to watch it because hopefully I will. Uh, I'm not going to open it up. Well, yeah, I'll go ahead and open it up. That's what this is for, mostly. But I'm going to try not to rip my. There's a sticker I want to stick on the front of the I'm always doing that with all the of my DVDs and CDs. If there's like a little bit of a like information or something on the on the special, I'm not sure about it. So that's really about it. That's all that's in there. Nothing really. Just the same as you know whatever's on the outside of it. <clears throat> Alright, this last DVD that I got, <clears throat> it's the complete collection of The Land Before Time, and it's all 14 movies. Can you believe there's 14 movies of The Land Before Time? It's hard to believe that. I, mean, I remember seeing the first one in the theaters. That's very shame. We're going to the theaters to see it. And I, I didn't mind like maybe uh, number two and number three I think of uh, the movies. I didn't mind them. They weren't that bad. You know, but here's, here's the front of it again without the plastic. And it's just a regular DVD case with all of them individually just Land Before Time, uh, The Land Before Time, The Great Valley Adventures, The Time, The Great Giving, Journey Through the Mist, The Mysterious Islands, Secret of Santa Shrocks, The Stone of Cold Fire, The Big Freeze, Journey of Big Water, Great Long Neck Migration, Invasion of the Tynosauruses, uh, The Great Day of the Flyers, The Wisdom Friends, and Journey of the Brave, which is the last one they made. This is the only one that actually has like art on the disc. And all these other ones are just regular, they just have um, color with the writing on it. Alright, I got two new comic books and one of my uh, old videos several, uh, about a month or so back, I talked about uh, the Scooby-Doo, uh, oh crap, what, what's it called, uh, oh shoot, um, uh, oh, uh, Scooby Apocalypse, I think is whatever that is. And it's volume one that I've found. And I've been wanting to get the Future Quest comics. And so uh, I knew that during May that uh, volume one was going to be coming out. So finally I bought volume one of Future Quest and all, which is the other Hanna Barbera um, comics that they're doing, that DC is doing. You know, it's a really. It, I've started uh, reading this. I haven't completely got through. It's uh, pretty good so far. Uh, if y'all get a chance, pick this up. I mean, uh, I know that whoever is a big fan of Hanna Barbera, like me, will love this. It has Space Ghost, Johnny Quest, Herculoids, 
Birdman, um, the, uh, the Impossibles, Frankenstein Jr., uh, Mighty Mitors in it, you know, pretty cool. Alright, I haven't started reading this one yet, and I, I saw this uh, mentioned on uh, Andre's, uh, one of his videos that he did, uh, Black Man Comedy Guy, um, and I, I finally found it, so. It's not that I was looking for it, I just happened to come across it. I just knew I wouldn't mind having it. So, it's called the Super Mario Adventures. And, uh, this came out like in 1993, I think. Oh, okay, okay. The, these originally ran in the, uh, the, um, Nintendo Power magazines. I didn't know that. Hey, there's a... A receipt in here. Oh, okay. I didn't realize they put the receipt in here. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> There's a piece of paper sticking up in here. I was like, what in the world? But yeah, they, these are all in the uh, old Nintendo Power magazines. And all. So I haven't started reading this one yet. Hopefully, it was. Okay. My last thing that I have for my little haul here. Uh, I'm not going to be unboxing it yet, uh, but I will be doing a video of unboxing it, or pretty much unpackaging it, as well as what's all inside of it, which will be also unpackaged. Um, I was in the mall in Abilene, uh, and I came across uh, this store called Rick's Collectibles, which I know I would seen it before, but for some reason I don't remember if it had, maybe it did. I'm, I'm now start, it's starting to flood back to me. I, at first, whenever I, I, I remembered Rick's Collectibles, I thought it was mostly like football memorabilia. Not really like, you know, like comics or video games or TV shows, you know, or cartoons or any of that type of stuff. Collectibles in the shop. And I went over there and checked it out and looked around. It was pretty neat. And it wasn't until I started to leave that there was this big old display right one of you uh, go inside of the store that I didn't even look at. I just happened to pass. I just took a glance and, you know, went on. And uh, I thought, man, you know, and so whenever I saw it again, I was like, hey, I wouldn't mind having this. Uh, it was only $17.95, even though it was like $2 more, so it was 19 something for tax and stuff. But it is a Mighty Morphin Power Ranger unopened Trading cards package. So I can't wait to open this or do my video of, of unboxing it and unboxing all the cards and see what doubles I get and see what all the neat little things I get. This came out in 1994, is what it says. Uh, I know this has to be the Lord Zed season of uh, Mighty War Power Rangers because it has the White Ranger plus these two main uh, bad guys you can see down here. friend knew, knew, knew the names whenever I told him about this and everything, so can't wait to open up this and uh, do my video on it. So. Alright, well, uh, that'll do it. Uh, uh, thanks for watching, if you did. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. Um, I'm going to try to have more of these uh, in the future. So just like I said in my update video, I'll be doing some speed drawing videos where I pretty much I draw it and then I fast, uh, you know, make the uh, video, you know, quick to where you can see me as I'm drawing it. Uh, I'm going to try to be working on some skits, hopefully, and everything. Uh, I don't have really anything written down for it except for what the name of it is. I will be doing some more top fives, some more top twelves. I start to get time uh, to start filming those and everything. So. Well, guys, uh, until next time, uh, also uh, click this like button, uh, subscribe. I try to make as many videos as I can. Uh, I'm going to try to be doing two a week if I can. If I can't, it might start out again just like it was where it's one, uh, one a week 
and that might be all I'll be able to do until I can actually start getting more time to actually start filming some more stuff. So, maybe hopefully I can be able to do two a week and y'all won't be having that. Uh, also, leave some comments down below. Let me know about any of those uh, specials, TV specials or whatever, or even the anime, and let me know if, if you think I'll like them. Uh, let me know if there's anything you'd like me to talk about. all I have to say. Uh, you can also check me out on my Twitter page, on both my Facebook pages, my personal and my YouTube that I have. So, well guys, until next time, this is your VHS Collector Kyle here saying, for all these various chickens and things, boys and girls, women and men, from all over the planet. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys! Also, uh, check out a couple of my other uh, DVD VHS and stuff hauls that I've done over the years. Uh, maybe you'll enjoy those as well as you've enjoyed this one. So uh, thank you and see y'all later.